Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how I make my Hasselback potatoes. I usually serve this with some roast chicken or some oven baked fish. And to be honest, it goes with anything and you can even eat it by itself. But before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on easy recipes each week. And with that, let's get started. So first of all, you will need 500 grams of new potatoes, 50 grams of melted butter, a pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of thyme or any other herbs that you would like to add and a few garlic cloves. Now the garlic cloves, I'm going to be leaving the skin on. I'm just going to crush them a little bit with the back of my knife and I'm just going to add them in like that. I'm going to slice my potatoes at least halfway down and I'll show you in a little while how to get even slices. So my trick is to use a saucer as your guide because the sides are quite raised so your knife won't hit all the way to the bottom of the potato and that way you won't chop the whole thing in half. Try and make thin and even slices throughout the whole potato and if you can try and make them thin as you possibly can but if you can't it's fine as well because they're going to look so good no one's going to notice. Next get a oven proof dish where you have enough space to move the potatoes around when you butter them and um, now I'm going to just get my garlic I'm just going to crush them with the back of um, my knife and then just add them in with the skin on that way the garlic will be mushy inside but they won't lose their shape and also release their aroma and infuse the potatoes while they are roasting in the oven I forgot to mention preheat your oven to the highest setting and then when you add your potatoes in you can lower the setting to around gas mark 6 200 degrees celsius or 400 degrees fahrenheit next add your salt and thyme into the melted butter and give it a good mix now i'm going to give my potatoes their first coating of butter of the butter mixture and then I'm going to roast them in the oven for at least 15 minutes and then I'm going to give them the second coating and I'm going to keep doing this um, until all the butter has finished and until the potatoes have thoroughly cooked so this will take around minimum 45 minutes or 50 minutes depending on your oven I would recommend keeping an eye on them and giving them a coating every 10 minutes after their very first coating so after the first 15 minutes give them a coating every 10 minutes and also keep a eye on the temperature so your potatoes are cooked thoroughly why not make these with your next roast instead of making your usual potatoes and i guarantee you will enjoy them so much you will keep on making them because they have the crispy topping on the outside and they are fluffy and buttery on the inside so as you can see I am buttering my potatoes quite often and that way they will have that golden crispy look and keep an eye on them and if you think they are not roasting on the top enough then you can try and turn up your heat a little, a little bit more but just make sure before you serve them you check that they are thoroughly cooked. So after 50 minutes, my potatoes have now thoroughly cooked and they are golden and crispy on the outside. And just before I serve them, I'm just gonna roll them around a little in the potatoes and give them a final uh, coating of the melted butter from the pan. As you can see, the garlic is also crispy on the outside. They're not burnt and they will be mushy on the inside. So it will go really nicely with the potatoes and also the time you can really smell the aroma and the kitchen is smelling really really delicious at the moment with the smell of the roasted potatoes the garlic the thyme and if you make this i guarantee you're gonna keep on making this and i hope you enjoy this as much as i did making it Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you all next time.